you were on there, Erica, with um, O'Shea and Bill. The three of you were on talking about awesome. talking about tech. And um, those shows on Sundays, they used to be like two and a half, three hour shows. Mm-hmm. And so I listened to the entire thing, went home that evening, told my wife about what I'd listened to. And she said, hey, you've been trying to get back into tech. You know, because I got a background, you know, degree in electrical engineer, worked at Hewlett Packard for 20 years as an engineer. Um, so I got a tech background. Wow, um, that's amazing. And then, you know, life changed. You know, I got caught up in the layoffs, the big layoffs that, that Hewlett Packard had uh, and found myself, you know, after 20 years on the outside looking in and didn't realize it at that time that the skill set that I had and had, you know, matured and had grown at Hewlett Packard was great for inside those four walls at HP. Mm-hmm. Once I stepped out, once I was pushed out into the real world, right? I quickly found out found out that I had a huge gap in my technical skills. Mm-hmm. And you know, interviewing for jobs and just couldn't get any interviews or, you know, um, it was just it was it was an eye opener. And so kind of did a bunch of different things came across, you know, listening to the show and told my wife, I want to get back into tech. So she said, well, give it, give the guy a call. So that, that next day, that was on a Sunday, that Monday, I reached out to Bill, told him I'd listen to the show and I want to get into the class. And he said, Hey, we're starting up in a couple of weeks. Uh, here's what the price is. And we, we went from there, you know, got in the class. Um, that was, see, that was the spring of 2019. And then we finished up the class. See, it was it was SQL, SSRS, ET, um, um, ETL. Uh, we finished up that class like the sum, like early in the summer. And then you know, updated my resume, started interviewing, you know, posted my resume out there, started interviewing for jobs um, while I was still doing my handyman, you know, uh, work, and landed my first gig, my first um, ETL developer job. That I remember, I started January second that uh of, of, of 20 uh 20 2020 and i've been working you know different fashion sql developer you know reports developer data analyst uh business analyst um and then i when i took the class i had known about salesforce mm-hmm. uh, you know from my days at hewlett packard and i always wanted you know to get into salesforce development but you know didn't didn't know of any classes. Bill had mentioned that he was, you know, hey, as the academy grows, I'll be bringing on Salesforce, you know, eventually. So I said, hey, that's where I want to get to. And I'll just, you know, continue on this path, you know, you know, in tech until, you know, they, he offers the Salesforce class. And so I, I jumped into this class with Taylor as the, as the instructor and learned so much about Salesforce, you know, from the admin side, but also so I have some development background, you know, working as a developer in different roles the last few years. But he exposed us to, you know, all the admin work, but on the other side, how to build your own portfolio of all the projects projects that you've worked on, how to market yourself in the market as a as a developer. Because that's what's always kind of challenging. You know, all the things that I've built, they're they're my clients' property. Right, you know, right. I can't just show somebody, oh, look at this database, look at this application, look at these reports. Mm-hmm. And so uh, what we learned, the projects that we did in, in the in the Salesforce class, we built a um, a, um, a real estate company, a leasing ah. company. And so to, to find, you know, from, he took us from the very beginning of, you know, here's the business, here's the business requirements for this project. And then, you know, this is this is exactly what you go through on the job. You know, different phases of of the project. We're going to go from the very beginning of pulling a concept out of the air to actually having a finished product, a, a functioning application at the end, and then recording all of those steps of how we built things and uh, developing a website. So I probably got about ninety percent of the website done, uh, and then um, you know it's going to be you know hosted on. Um, so I can use that I can use that web link when I'm inter- you know interviewing for jobs and sharing with people about what I've built. You know, it's one thing to show a resume. It's mm-hmm. another thing to show a resume and then actually, oh, hey, here, let's let's go in and look and I can show you, you know, kind of under the hood what I mm-hmm. actually did. And that's so much more powerful than just kind of talking to, you know, in generic about projects that you've worked on. 